I got asked the question, what would I tell someone, a girl theology major or a guy who's deciding to go into theology, but specifically girl theology major, what would I tell you if you were deciding or considering going into ministry? This is my letter to you. tell you is be faithful really that's the only thing I'm gonna tell you but be faithful in every area of your life but be faithful in the way that you pursue the exploration of your call because that will determine a great deal about your future the second thing that I want to tell you is be faithful in the way that you interact with your call your call is a part of you, yes, but at the same time your call is going to affect you and everyone around you, everyone close to you. It will challenge maybe your beliefs or challenge the beliefs of those closest to you. Your call is not something that will be easy for you. So be faithful in the way that you interact with that call. Sometimes it's easy to downplay it and oftentimes when people would ask me what my major was, I would say, well, I want to study theology, or I'm studying theology. And, and it came to a point where to, to cause less controversy, or maybe to give less shock, I would say, theology, actually. I wasn't being faithful fully to my call. Being faithful to your call, and to accept your call, to uphold your call, to uplift your call, and to embrace your call for what it is. And that won't be easy at all, but be faithful in the ways that you interact with your call. Be faithful in the way that you treat your call. Because it is just as as big and as holy and as important as any other big decision in your life. Third, be faithful in prayer. I can't stress this one enough for me, like, there's been so many times in my college career and in my ministry since I accepted the call that that has relied so much on prayer. And prayer is easy to, to neglect. It's a lot easier to do like 10 minutes of Bible study and pull something. Okay, this is my thought for the day. I'm going to go through with this. You know, like this is, this is my thought. This is my devotional thought. But it's a lot harder because prayer demands time. Prayer of itself is time consuming. And that makes it one of the hardest things to do, whether you're in theology or whatever. And because prayer and spirituality become part of your classes, they become classwork, they, they somehow become less or seem less important or more routine. But be faithful in prayer. Because prayer is really what's going to carry you through. It's not studying a lot, as much as that is a good thing. It's not networking properly as much as that is something that's that's very good and it helps. It's not having good relationship with your professors, even though that is very helpful and I would highly recommend that. It's being faithful in prayer. That's the thing that's going to carry you through times when people won't show up to your ex in church because you're a lady and you're preaching. Times when you haven't really had time to study as much as you should have because you're doing ministry. And not just times when God can cover for you, but prayer is key in the good times to keep you grounded, to keep you faithful, to keep you faithful to that call and to God through that call. And I think another thing that I would tell you is be faithful in the way that you do ministry and be content with where God has you. This is something that for me I struggled with for, and I still struggle with each and every day with my ministry on campus. You know, there's always going to be someone doing a better 
bigger and more well-known ministry than you. Always. Especially as a girl to you, major, you're going to feel this a lot because you're going to feel the pressure of performance. But be content with where God has put you. A lot of times, my, my main ministries that I invest hours and hours and into were not on campus. And there were other girl CEO majors who had huge, huge impacts on campus. And I look at my ministry and it seems like I have so little in comparison. But that just wasn't the ministry that God had placed in front of me. And it's going to be easy to feel like you need to perform to outperform the boys or to outperform this or that just so you can get a job, just so you can shine, just so you can show everyone that you are trying, that you are called. Don't feel like you have to prove your call. But take the ministry that's in front of you and be content with what God has given you. This doesn't mean you can be content with laziness or being content with not really trying or half trying. What this means is that you work your best with what is in front of you. And your ministry may never be as big and great, and mine will never be as big and great on campus as some of the others, or even off campus as some others. But it's my ministry. And you have yours. God has ministry placed for you wherever you're going to go to school. Whatever you're planning on doing with your life, be faithful in the ministry that God places in front of you, because that is the direction that He is taking your life. Something that often I overlooked in my career, college career, is being faithful in my friendships. It's very easy, especially if you're a girl in a world full of guys, to neglect those female friendships that are so important to you. And it's often hard to make friends with the other girl Theo majors because they have their own lives, they have their own ministries, and you're very... Very usually you're so different that there's very little you have in common besides your, your your major, but be faithful in your friendships, especially with other girls, because those are the friendships that are going to carry you through. Yeah, the guys do carry you through a lot, and they are super helpful and super awesome, but it's your girl friendships that you're going to neglect the most. Make time. Be faithful in those friendships that God has given you. And lastly, be faithful to your God. God can easily become, the, the word theology means the study of God, but he can easily become an object or something that is distant and far removed. But in reality, God is not something distant or far removed, and he's not just an object of study. He's the one who called you. And there are so many times in, in this short three and a half years when I've forgotten forgotten God in his vastness, in his omnipotence, in his very nature of who he is. His, not just his position, but his character. So easy to, to compartmentalize and to systematize, to theologize God. We forget he's too real. He's just as real as you and I. And more real in so many ways. Be faithful to your God. Not in a sort of God is lording over you and he's going to take away or ruin your call if you don't be faithful, but and the one who has called you. He chose you. And maybe most of us will never know to eternity why. But be faithful to your God. Because he's the one who will carry you through. And he's the one who called you. The one who loved you enough to take you into this beautiful world of theology. Especially as a girl, you know, major. He chose you. Not everybody's called to do that. As you may well have figured out. But he calls you to be faithful to him. Don't just do it because it's the right thing or because in a legalistic way, but fall in love with him. Fall in love with him. Be faithful to your God. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, hope the video was a blessing to you. Hope that you really enjoyed it, that it was something that you feel like it really touched you. If it was, um, share it with some of your friends that you really think need to hear it or could use that message. And if you want more content about what it's like to be a girl theology major, you can just click subscribe, check out the other videos, and drop a comment. Let me know what your favorite part of ministry is. 
So, good to see you, and hopefully we'll see you back here next week at on Thursday at noon.